And an injured Iraq war veteran blames his neighborhood developer for leaving him with a backyard that he says is too dangerous for his service dog. Uh, he's not the only angry homeowner in Slater Mill of Douglasville, but Fox Eyes IT reporter Randy Travis says the developer insists that they've done enough. Randy? That's right, Russ. And today, Crown Communities of Conyers uh, built the neighborhood, marketed and priced largely for first-time homeowners. Well, two years later, and the warranty now expired, this ground war continues to drag on. I don't want to fight anymore. I, I, I didn't come down here to fight with these. I just want to buy a damn house. And yet, the fight continues for retired Staff Sergeant Steve Hammond. A war blast in Iraq left him with memory and balance and speech issues. So volunteers trained his Beagle Mix Rock to be a service dog. Come on, boy. Come on, buddy. Come on, boy. Rocco. You can't even see me now. That's because Rock developed diabetes, won't eat now, and has started to go blind. Well, I used to walk with him, and he would nudge me a little bit if I got unbalanced, and he would stop when I stopped, but he doesn't, he doesn't, he can't see. He doesn't do that no more. I know. So yeah, he helps me. Steve and his wife Lisa called around to see about getting another service dog, but when the trainers asked about the house, Steve says he had to tell them the truth. His backyard, he says, is dangerous for a dog. He's already been stuck uh, twice in, in the holes. Stuck in a series of deep, puzzling holes. That goes down about a foot, I would say. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Let's see. That oh, that's down. more than a foot. Yeah, it sure is. Here's oh, another see, one. see, I didn't see that one. Yeah, there's another one right here. It's in a perfect line with all those other ones. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they want to know what's down there. A while back, Steve says Crown Communities dumped some extra dirt in the backyard, which slopes sharply toward a creek. The company has responded to similar warranty issues from other homeowners in Slater Mill, but a few we talked to seem happy. Linda Gilbert lives up the street. It's embarrassing. Donnie Nunley is the Homeowners Association past president. He's criticized Crown while speaking before the Douglasville City Council. So would you buy a home again from these people? No. I would not. Harvey Leonard has construction trash poking up in a backyard he says is washing away. How much did you spend on your house? Um, 180. Did you get your money's worth? No. no. Not when it comes to this suspension. No one from Crown would sit down to talk to us on camera about Slater Mill. In a written statement, the company said, all concerns regarding landscaping at Slater Mill that have been brought to our attention and submitted as a claim to our warranty department have been addressed. Crown says they've acted in good faith with Steve's issues, even after the warranty expired. All valid claims have been addressed. Steve insists they have not. Because they didn't pack it down solid every time it rains, my land's just falling right down the hill. Douglasville City inspectors have spent a lot of time in Slater Mill. The Fox of I team asked them to take a closer look at Steve's house. Guess what? There's no, no code violation that, that covers holes in the yard. No code violation on a straight line of holes, unless there's a bunch of construction debris buried deep in Steve's backyard. But don't expect the city to start the digging. If he wants to uh, go to the expense of exposing it, then uh, I have no problem of asking the, the contractor to come in and uh, and remove it. But only if there's a violation. Steve got a bid, $1,000 to dig up his backyard. That's not happening. Holes he's got, money he doesn't. Well, Steve says he got some of his army buddies to help build that wooden fence you saw that goes behind his backyard there. But he's actually been tempted, Russ, today to have him come back and maybe start digging up the backyard to see what's down there. But he's a little worried that if there's no trash debris, then he's got an even bigger hole that he has to bring more dirt in and fill in and pack in and things that he says the builder should have done originally. Uh, so he's staying away from that right now. So if you have a, a backyard that starts to collapse, and I guess it's beyond that two-year warranty, then the builder has no responsibility right. any longer? Well, Crown says it's industry standard to uh, to not have to fix any of that once once uh, you close on the house. Uh, they say they've been nice and they've gone in there and tried to do some work for him, but they said they're not doing any more. And he said, I mean, you know, some people suggested that perhaps the dogs were digging these holes back there. And uh -huh. I, they're in a straight line. They're very deep and they're very narrow. So there's something missing down underneath his, hmm. his property there. I understand why he's so upset. Yeah, I do too. But there's no code violation right now unless you can prove there's trash debris down there, wow. way down there. It does make you wonder. Doesn't it? All right. Randy, thanks. Okay. Well.